Torah tells us Torah tells us that Yisro he had abandoned all his glory in Midian because he had heard multiple things he had heard about Kriyas Yamsuf <clears throat> he had heard about the war with Amalek which we discussed then the Torah tells us is kol asher also and lokim the Moshe Yisrael Amo, all that Hashem had done on behalf of Moshe and Yisrael, his, his nation. Es kol asher also Rashi cites Chazal. He read the Sabon. Ube be'er the wellspring. Ube Amolek. Ki hotzi Hashem es Yisrael mi Yisroelim. So Rashi cites the Mechilta, which is Chazal. Zugdol al kulam. The ultimate was that Hashem took us out of Egypt. I mean, after the ten plagues, after especially the box of the the killing of the firstborn, we were driven out of Egypt. This is greater than all of them. Why is this greater than all of them? I mean, if you have a prison and you kill the warden and you blow out the walls of the prison, now the prisoner just has to walk out. And that's basically what happened in Egypt. The country was devastated, decimated. People were traumatized. They were killed. And they said, please leave. And we just walked out. That that God took us out of Egypt it was the greatest, greatest level of accomplishment. What's the accomplishment? Umar tells us in Sanhedrin that Paro had three advisors. One was Yisro, one was Eov, one was Bilam. Yisro understood all the inner workings mm -hmm. and the level, the extreme level of impurity of Egypt. And when initially the bondage was instituted, Yisro, to show his protest, fled Egypt. And he fled to Midjah. That was his protest. This level of miscarriage of justice, taking innocent people, enslaved them, especially their one of their forefathers guaranteed the survival of Egypt. How do you do this? Enslave his family. How do you do this? Couldn't tolerate it. He fled. But he understood what exactly, what it meant to be Memta Shari Tuma. The Jews became pagans and became idolaters there. After a person becomes an idolater, how do you somehow purge all that impurity that's been so embedded in his Nisham in his soul? that he should be able to function as a fully believing spiritual person. We were detoxified, spiritually speaking. What's this detoxification process? Yisro appreciated that. Kihotzi Hashem zugdola kulam. That the God was able to extricate ourselves, not fit in the physical sense, in the spiritual sense, to restore our capacity that we were able to ascend to the Memtishari Tara, to the 49th together, level of purity to be able to receive the Torah this is something only somebody of Yisro's dimension of person that he have an appreciation for that level of accomplishment the Lord tells us in Sanhedrin that regarding idolatry that a person becomes a chosen a person becomes a repentant ultimately Hashem will take his life that the person should die why? because, because a person who's a devout pagan Ultimately, he's going to revert back to the paganistic belief. It is impossible to totally uproot and purge and expunge every aspect of that. Ultimately, he's going back. And since the person did tshuva, he repented. And since it's inevitable he's going back, Hashem prefers he should die tzaddik and not Russia. And then God takes his life at that point. So we hear the Jews were beyond that. We were holding at the point of spiritual extinction. We were going to the oblivion. And to take us to a point that we should be able to say, Nasim and Nishma, this is something beyond miraculous. Therefore, the greatest accomplishment of Yitzis Mitzrayim is Ki Hotsi Hashem is Yisrael Mitzrayim, which is Ugadola Al Kulam. Amen.